This video will go over how to get started as a new user of RoboForm. Logins are what RoboForm uses to store passwords and log you in to your sites. After ensuring that you have installed the RoboForm browser extension into your supported browser of choice and have logged in, navigate to the site you would like to save your login information for, for example, walmart.com. Navigate to the sign-in page, enter your login information, and click the sign-in button. Or, if you are creating a new account, enter your new account information and click the Create Account button. After creating or entering your account credentials, a window will appear prompting you to save your login credentials into RoboForm. While on this window, you also have the ability to edit the name of your login, place that login into an existing folder, or create a new folder for the login. After adjusting the name and folder placement to your specifications, click the Save button on the RoboForm prompt. From now on, you can log in with one click by clicking the RoboForm extension icon and clicking your created login. If you would like a more in-depth tutorial on logins, follow the link in the description to view our Creating and Saving Logins tutorial. An identity is a personal profile which you can store important information about yourself or others in and can be used to automatically fill forms. To create an identity, first click the RoboForm extension icon and then click the house icon in the top left of the menu to go to the start page. Click the blue plus button at the bottom right corner of the screen and select Identity from the menu that appears. The Create New Identity window will appear. Within this window, you can name your identity and select the country applicable to it. After inputting this information, click Next. You will now be on a page allowing you to input your identity's personal information. Fill out the fields as you wish and then press the Save icon when you have entered your information. After clicking Save, you will see a column on the left-hand side with further categories of information to fill out, if you wish. If you filled out the previous page, you have already filled out the Person section. The other categories are Business, where you can store the workplace information for the identity, Passport, where you can store the passport details for the identity, Address, where you can store the address for the identity, Credit Card, where you can store the credit card details for the identity, Bank Account, where you can store the banking information for the identity, and car, where you can store the vehicle details for the identity. From now on, you can fill forms with your identity by clicking the RoboForm extension icon, clicking the Identities tab, selecting the identity you wish to fill from, and clicking the Fill Forms button. If you would like a more in-depth tutorial on identities, follow the link in the description to view our Creating and Using an Identity tutorial. Safe notes are encrypted text files stored in RoboForm. You can use safe notes to securely store any free text. To create a safe note, first click the RoboForm extension icon. Then click the house icon in the top left of the menu to go to the start page. Click the blue plus button at the bottom right corner of the screen and select safe note from the menu that appears. You will now be on a page allowing you to name, edit, and save your safe note. Name it appropriately, and you will then be prompted to choose a folder to store it in. Fill it out as you wish, and then click Save. You can always come back to view or edit your safe note by clicking on its icon in the Start page. Bookmarks are an easy way to access sites you visit frequently in an efficient manner. You can use bookmarks to store and organize web addresses in order to be a click away from your favorite pages and articles. To create a bookmark, first navigate to the page you would like to save. Once you are on the page, click the RoboForm extension, and then click the floppy disk icon in the lower right. This will open the RoboForm Save dialog. Name your login or bookmark, choose its folder, and select whether you would like to save it as a login or bookmark. 
Then click the blue save button. You can now use this bookmark at any time by clicking the RoboForm extension, opening the drop down menu on the right side of the logins tab, selecting bookmarks, and clicking your bookmark. 